here we are at Carolina Place. Shot of the neighborhood. I'll show you where the elementary school I think you were referring to is on the way out. It's pretty quiet back here. And again, not really anything. You can see a trailer down there that's kind of parked. Um, and then this one as well has one in their driveway. But as far as stuff in the front yard or anything like that, doesn't seem to be the case. And the siding on the house is wood and wood product. A two car garage, that same garage door as the last listing. Um, gutters going into a storm drain, the poured concrete foundation. Looks like a newer paint job. And then the uh, um, electricity source, you have electric, natural gas, and a wood burning fireplace. So that's nice. Composite roof, which we'll get a better shot of. It's really pretty, you guys. So let's walk on up. Okay, when we walk in, right off to the left side here, you have a coat closet. And then the stairway to upstairs, but then to the left of that, you have your kitchen, which is really beautiful. You have these pretty floors, kind of like a cherry. They're coming up lighter in the camera than they look in person. They're a little bit like more of a dark cherry. Really pretty window right here. Stainless steel appliances, beautiful gas stove, high ceilings, love the matte black sink, it's almost like a bronze actually. So there's your neighbor right there, well actually we'll go out there, maybe this is the current owner. So. Take a look there. More storage on this side with the fridge and then into the living space. So goes into carpet in here. Lots of windows in here. It's really pretty. Wood burning fireplace with the brick. Love that. And then we will go down here. We're back by the front door to this additional space. So this is the laundry room and another bathroom right here. Um, and an open area that goes out onto the patio in that huge backyard. So we'll head out there, of course. Right here. Little storage area, and you have your water heater as well. And then one more door leads us to the two car garage. Oh, they have a little dog in there. So, really nice sized garage. let's go ahead and go upstairs. Okay, on the third floor, right off to the left side is a bathroom. You have the fiberglass tub, sink, with some storage, big mirror taking up the whole wall, and then we'll go across from there. It's a little bit later in the day, so it's a little darker. Um, this is a good size. There's a difference between the carpeting in here and then the main. So the bedrooms have different carpeting. Another room with a standard closet. And then 
you have some heat controls right here as well. So that's nice that you can kind of control the temperature room to room. You have the master. So nice size closet. I know probably not as big as um, yours because you said you have a really big one, but the windows in here, it's nice. This one goes to the backyard. You can see the shop from here. And then this is a big um, ensuite. So same tub set up kind of as that bathroom out in the hallway. Let's go ahead and take a look outside and at that shop. Actually, I think I missed this one. Linen closet right here. Next to that first room we went into. This backyard is huge, so um, we'll head out to the shop, but I want to show you the actual yard. You have the um, door right here, which was off that main living space, and then the sliding glass door that was in that extra room down there. Really pretty back here. So that was um, the neighbors, I believe with the fence line being here. Gonna walk up here, lots of potential. You could do some more beds like that. The fence looks to be in really good shape also. Lots of very pretty trees back here. Okay, and here is that big, beautiful shed. So this is a great workshop. You can tell they've used it and loved it well, so Here's the flooring in there. A ton of space. Another wood burning stove. Kind of a little loft area right here. And it is wired with electricity already. So a ton of potential in here. That's exciting. One more shot of it. Um, there's that additional storage shed over there and that one is locked. But um, in between, you have this covered storage for um, an RV, maybe, or whatever you want to keep here. And back there is where they're storing the firewood for the wood burning stoves. So here's a look at the back of the house. Really pretty, you guys. So I just turned off your street, and I've probably driven like maybe a thousand feet. And up here on the right is the Cottonwood Elementary School. So that's right there, and we're about four minutes from that last listing. So once I get to the end of the street and I take a right, once again we'll be heading towards Silverdale area.